today on No Revving, we're going to talk to you about how to do a power steering fluid replacement. So it's a pretty easy job, but there are two methods and ways that you can get it done. Method number one, you're just going to go to the top of the reservoir, you're going to use some type of pump device, and you're going to be able to pump what's inside the reservoir out. You're then going to fill up that reservoir to at least halfway, start the car, go left or right three or four times, while you're looking at it, you're going to have to be pouring more, so it's a two-person job. One person inside doing the stirring, the other person making sure you're at half in the reservoir. That's going to let the new fluid go in through the lines. You're going to kill it, you're going to pump it out, and you're going to repeat that process two more times. You want three full iterations of that so that you get down to only having like 2% of the old fluid left inside of the lines. That way you don't have to go disconnecting anything and try to bleed out the entire system. Method number two you're going to take the return hose at the lowest point of your power steering pump and you're going to disconnect that. Now on a 96 Viper GTS, it's all plastic so you want to be real careful as you're taking that return hose off that you don't damage the power steering pump. So disconnect the return hose and get ready because it's going to come out immediately and you're going to start draining the lines and draining the reservoir. Once it's all drained, you can connect it back again and be able to fill it up. Now they also said while it's disconnected, you could start the car and try to pump it all out, but you're going to want to have enough uh, power steering fluid in there as it flushes through. And once you start seeing clear fluid come out into your drain pan, then you're ready to stop the car, connect the return hose again, fill yourself up to the right level. You're then going to start the car and go back and forth for a couple of minutes, and then just make sure that you're at the level needed whenever you're running. Because as you turn the car from side to side, it's going to uh, push more through the actual lines and through the cooler for the power steering pump, and that's going to lower the amount in the reservoir. So you want to top it back off at the very end, and then you should be good to go. We're going to take off the uh, line here. That's the return from the power steering cooler. That should allow us to be able to empty. We're going to put it through cone, get it down to our bucket. Hopefully stop in a mess and then uh, we're gonna try to suction out the rest of it from down there and then refill and be done. So, this is my new hose clamp. So you literally put it over wherever you want it to clamp uh -huh. and it stays in place. Oh. So you don't even have to fit a whole cool down. So okay so we're just... trying to... Tell me when. Okay now squeeze down. Yeah, yeah that's it. All right you know how you have the, uh, the three plunk clamp? It successfully opened up the clamp so that we can now pull the line off. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty dope tool. So now we're just trying to get the line out. I don't know how I'm going to get my hands. This is a, uh, see. intimate. It is an intimate. Yeah. You know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try to just. Why don't you hold right there, bad boy? I had one for the other side. Well, maybe I can move around. Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Uh, that's not coming out, that. Yeah, it's coming out. Ooh, that's definitely time. That's brown. Isn't it supposed to be red? Yep. That's yeah. coming out the hose now. <laughs> Gross. Just kidding. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not good. <laughs> I didn't know you could put, uh, 0W30 in, in, uh... <laughs> in the power steering. That's one. One. Yeah, you can hear it pushing air or something. Two. Three. Three. All right. I, I think that got most of it. All right. Okay, so now we just want to put it back on. And then, uh, or there's two things you can do. You could fill it to halfway, turn the car on and try to just push it, clean stuff through while it's empty, or we just fill it up. What do you think is needed? I don't know if that's needed to try to let it push out clean no. while the car's running. We should just fill it up and call it good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm down with. Okay, so we'll- So you're trying to do it half far? Say is we, we just suck out the reservoir, put new fluid in, suck it out, put new- Oh out. yeah, three yeah. times, yeah. All right, so after we uh, disconnected at the lowest point from the power steering pump, so that happened to be instead of at the pump, we went through the power steering cooler line and then went to the bottom one that goes into the rack. That one came off the easiest. That allowed us to fully empty out everything from the reservoir through the cooler. 
We had Mason get in the car and turn the steering uh, back and forth uh, several times. That got it out of the rack, so now it's completely empty. And we are putting the return line back on at the rack, and then we're gonna fill this back up uh, with clean uh, power steering fluid and be ready to go. And we need to get it to cold. Oh, this shit's clear. Oh, okay. That's even worse. <laughs> hey, they told me you need to see this. the bubbling. Yeah, we're getting air bubbles. Keep, keep turning. Oh yeah, you definitely probably want to flush this some more. Huh? Yeah, you probably would definitely want to flush this some more, Mason. So as we we're putting the clear fluid in, we noticed that there was a lot of brown still inside of the power steering reservoir. So. It was doing the right thing as you're turning the steering wheel. It's uh, giving you the air bubbles, but there's a lot of brown left. So instead of going back through and disconnecting everything, we're just gonna use the pump and we're gonna get that uh, out and then uh, put a new fresh batch in. We got plenty of fluid here, so we're just gonna pump some out, uh, try to get rid of as much brown as we can, and then fill it back up. steering flush don't forget to hit that like subscribe ring the bell so until next time no raving out